All right. So that's everything we have in our glass and probably took up half our questions for tonight, which is good uh, because now we got to get into... Wine, beer, spirit, or pop culture reference. So this was an, I'm going to give these guys a term, and they're going to try to tell me if it's a wine term, a beer term, a spirit term, or some kind of pop culture reference. The term this week is sicken. So is sicken a wine term, a beer term? A spirit, spirit term. term. <laughs> I just saw. How much rum have you had? I just saw JBB's comment as I was trying to to get through that. <laughs> a wine term, a beer term, a spirit term, or some kind of pop culture reference. Uh, Jeff Solomon. Yeah. Hey, how do you spell seeking? C e k i n. Seeking. You know, there's a part of me that just hoped it was. <laughs> S E E K I N apostrophe, and I'm like, I don't know, probably some uh, some uh, deep track from Creedence Clearwater Revival. I'm seeking a romance, <laughs> like something silly like that. Uh, but seeking C E K I N seeking. You know, there you go. And you can never trust Eccles on the mispronunciation. So um, <laughs> this is actually a beer term. <laughs> and it is a Japanese craft beer. Mm. It's pronounced kekin. <laughs> It's a yeah. It's just a jap. It's a well-respected Japanese uh, craft beer. They would not do the uh, the frozen head over the top like uh, Kieran Ichiban did uh, a long, long time ago. This is just straight up. It's a, it's a delicious lager. Uh, it's a lager, and while the head is not frozen, it's served hella cold, and the head takes up about two thirds of the glass when they serve it. So, uh, Seekin, it's a Japanese beer. All right, Jeff don't, Solomon. I mean, Kekin, Kekin. All, all Japanese lagers taste the same? <laughs> I'm sure they do. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll yeah. find out. We might find out next week. The frozen uh, Kirin Ichiban had a little uh, difference. Too. John Ruyak, Seekin. C-E-K-I-N? Yes. God, it sounds... Uh... Sounds like a like a, a Slovakian hockey player. Is he like rip, tearing it up for the Avalanche or something like that? He's like fourth wing and got nine goals in a shortened season. Could be. Just Alexi Seekin. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah right. Alexi Seekin. Darn it. He can he can stick handle in a phone booth. Um, <laughs> you know, just the spelling tells me says Eastern Europe to me. So. Not being a hotbed of wine, although there are some very good ones. Some very good ones. Um, I'm going to go with this as a, a beer term. All right. We got two beer terms, one from Japan and one from, where would you say, Slovakia or something? Yeah, Slovakia. Okay. All right. Uh, Mark Breen, any clue yeah. on what Seekin might be? I'm going to hope it's nothing to do with spirits because it doesn't ring a bell with me. <laughs> which probably means it's exactly what it is, but... <laughs> It sounds like some bizarre thing you'd use to filter wine or something, you know. Oh, yes, you know, we added the seek in one day and it was marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's nothing to do with that because the you two wine guys would know. But, uh, um, so um, maybe it's a pop culture reference. Some kind of pop culture reference. Uh, Jeff and John were in on a little bit of inside baseball that I completely forgot I had this term until five minutes before the show. So I had to do like a mad search to try to come up with what the term was tonight. So we've got two for beer and Mark is going with a pop culture reference. The term seeking is in fact a beer term. Well, well, Judd panel members, it is a hop. First, first commercially released as a super styrian hop around 1990. 
Seeking. I'm seeking a new <laughs> Volkswagen bus. I'm going to the show with all my friends. I've got a st- steering hop. I'm calling it seeking, naming it after a fake CCR song. <laughs> 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 